I'm NASA astronaut Michael Barrett, and you're watching Mission X, Ask the Astronaut. And this week's topic is staying fit in space. So uh, we have a couple of questions from our friend uh, Jake of Team Eaglets and Liam from the Cougars, and they're asking, how do we use our exercise machines in space without floating away? Do we have to strap ourselves down? And the answer is mostly yes. When you think about it, no gravity. Anything you put down is going to float away, including you. So when we get on a treadmill, we have to have something to hold us down with a force to make up for that gravity. So on the treadmill, we have some very tight bungee cords which strap us down tightly try to put back the feeling of the weight that we would normally feel on the ground. And as we start the treadmill going, that keeps your feet there uh, on the ground, so they're on the uh, treadmill belt, so that you can stay down there and really get a, work, a good workout. And when we do resistive exercise, usually we're holding the bar that's got a lot of force on it, and that holds you down in place better than you might believe. It's really great. The only thing we really don't have to strap into is our exercise bicycle, because you already put your feet inside the toe clips of the pedals, and you're holding on with your hands usually, and usually you're watching TV. But uh, anyway, that just keeps you uh, in place just the way you would normally pedal a bicycle. Great question. So our friend uh, Brian from the USA asks that if we exercise in space, do we burn the same amount of calories as we would on the ground? And uh, interestingly, the answer is pretty much yes. Uh, we really look forward to our workouts and we work really hard, whether we're on the treadmill or on the resistive exercise machine or on our bicycle. And uh, we burn off calories up there just the same way that we would do down here. Now interestingly, our exercise time is only about two hours out of our day. And you may not think so, but on the ground, you're almost exercising all the time because you're always working against gravity when you're walking or when you're carrying things when you're sitting up so we don't really feel that up there because we don't weigh anything so we concentrate all of that loading to our bodies in that two hours of exercise time so fortunately we do burn a lot of calories during that time and uh, we really look forward to our workouts and we really look forward to our chow so we got a great question from our friend Oliver at the Mount Fitchett Math and Computing School in the UK. And he asks if you burn more energy in space than you do on the ground, or if it's the same. Now, you would think, because you're in weightlessness, nothing weighs anything, and we have pretty much float around all day, uh, that you would burn fewer calories. And that's what we first thought many years ago when people first started uh, flying in space. But what was very surprising to us is that uh, people burn energy at about the same rate. And some sometimes higher. So when you're thinking about how much food to supply to people, you can't really allow for zero gravity giving you any, um, any break on that. You actually do burn energy up there just like you do down here, and so you have to make sure there's enough food to support that. Now for me, I was eating over 5,000 calories a day for the first several weeks in space, and I wasn't gaining any weight. Just because of, of your body's needs up there, they're, they're different than they are on the ground, but they definitely do need the energy. That means the calories, that that means the food, you have to fly it, you have to store it, and uh, you have to plan for that when you're planning a deep space mission. Great question. So another great question we got uh, from one of our friends in France is, do you lose weight in space? And that's a very interesting question. Uh, always when we flew people for long durations of flight, uh, somewhere between a month to six months and even up to a year, the rule is that people would lose weight for the first few weeks. And they would lose maybe four to five kilos, and then they'd be steady at this new lower weight for the rest of the flight. Now what we find is just like on the ground, your weight is a combination of the food you take in and the exercise you do to burn off that extra energy or those calories. And up there the balance is very different. So we found that you do need a little bit more food than we first expected and that you really do need that exercise to keep your bones and muscles up. And if you eat well and you really do exercise well to keep your bones and muscles strong, then your weight can pretty much stay the same. So you really have to supply the needs of the astronaut, uh, that means the food and the exercise, to keep the weight the same. Otherwise, it does tend to drive down a little bit. People always do better if they can maintain their weights, so we're very careful about that. Hello, I'm NASA astronaut Michael Barrett, and if you'd like to ask a question of an astronaut, go to the Mission X website and look for the Ask the Astronaut feature, and we look forward to your questions.